Hi guys, another video, another Tortoise Platform Sapiens webinar. And this one is by Imran Hussein, probably the weakest of all the Aero speakers, I think, and the one with the least horsepower available to make intelligent and cogent arguments. I've tried several times to explain to him that there is no good reason to believe gods or goddesses exist, and that is why I don't. He simply does not get it. He is incapable of comprehending what an atheist actually is. He still says an atheist turns away from God, not realizing there are no gods to turn from, until, that is, one or several have been demonstrated to exist. This has not happened yet. So, I can't turn away from something that does not exist. It's quite simple, really. And the same goes for his claim that I deny gods which is equally baffling for me. Even though this is a fairly long speech, I think it's one and three quarter hours, there is very little real contents. So I think it's sufficient if I just provide a, a brief overview. Because the basic mistake made here is simply not understanding the words theist and then the opposite, atheist. And I don't know why he doesn't get it. The atheist simply does not do what the theist does which is believe a God exists. It's, it's so simple. And then the same, by the way, goes for gnostic. Agnostic, which is knowing with certainty, and agnostic, not knowing and not with certainty. So regarding gods, we are all agnostic since nobody knows. I mean, if you look up belief and knowledge and epistemology, then you know the difference. So we, nobody knows for sure that gods exist or don't exist. And that is also the reason why this is seen as a position of uncertainty or not being convinced of either position. Now Imran, in this speech, lumps not believing gods exist in with naturalism, i.e. the belief that natural processes in the natural world have natural explanations. And then adds the silly idea that not believing gods exist is in itself a worldview. Like, not believing dragons exist is also a worldview then? Come on, I don't look at the world and check what I observe against my not believing gods exist. A Muslim, however, must do this due to the fact that even my new details in everyday life are prescribed. So I look at a situation and I look at it through a different lens, in a different way. I don't have one single lens, one different way of looking at everything, the way that a Muslim has. Uh, okay, and uh, Imran is not an orator, all right? I, th that's, let's face it. And he can't really captivate an audience. It's, the whole thing is lackluster, without highlights, and just listening to him as he goes through his content slide, I can already shred his entire presentation and then fall asleep. He says really thoughtless things like first presenting a solution to a problem and only then explaining what the problem is. This is confused and pretty mindless. What would have made a lot more sense would have been to develop this together with an atheist to avoid all the nonsense, all the mistakes and the really false claims, making him come across, you know, looking like a total fool. And only a few weeks ago, I explained to him that being an atheist is indeed a rational position, and why. Here he says the opposite. Why does he do this when he knows full well it is wrong? That's why I say he should have developed this together with an atheist and said, okay, let us focus on the areas where we have a common understanding. Let's see if we have a common area somewhere. Let's, let's take a look at the, the problem areas and then, all right, we can define them but we should talk about commonalities, not, not what divides us. Now, I have no idea why no Muslim stops this poor guy. I, I would have if I were a Muslim. Don't they have compassion or pity or something? How can they allow him to make such a horribly flawed presentation, making him look like a total idiot? Don't they care? I would immediately point out some contradictions and flaws, regardless of who it is, to stop this embarrassing presentation from going public. And what is puzzling, I mean, this, this shows that he doesn't really think about what he is saying here. Most philosophers today, 
or scientists, academics, they're atheists. And our little Imran here makes anyone who doesn't have a God belief look like a, a blabbering fail. Yet he is the one who makes really stupid statements, like we were born in the 21st century. Really? We were all born in the 21st century? Are we all younger than 20? I know this is just a minor mistake, and it's, it's actually quite harmless. It just demonstrates the general inadequacy of the thinking processes inside his brain. Everything he says is at this level. It's all wrong, all screwed up, and in his desperate and pathetic attempt at whining about the other children, the mean children, who don't want to play with him. And that's all we have. There is nothing here that, that is about thinking and that, that shows us in any way that he has contemplated what he's actually talking about. Grow up, man. Get real. Get over it and accept Islam is collapsing and this can't be stopped anymore. Like a dinosaur, it doesn't fit in the 21st century and is going extinct. You can't do anything anymore. It's too late. And people like you and people like the Kijab and, and people like Ali Dawa and, and Mansu and all these other people, they're only making it worse, not better. And Imran, you see, you can see this, he does not understand much in this world. I, I doubt he noticed when describing Marx how he was actually showing up the parallels to Islam. <laughs> now, okay. I could go and tear apart almost every sentence and ridicule it, and so, but that would be too easy, I find. I'll, I'll leave this here and simply wish anyone good luck who wants to waste another hundred perfectly good minutes on this feeble propaganda piece, which is incoherent in itself. It's just a, a long whine, feeling sorry for himself and trying to comfort himself by pretending that Islam is somehow the one way of making sense of this world. He, seemed, I don't know, he seems to be immensely jealous of people who've achieved something. Like he, he constantly harps on about the Professor Dawkins. People who are respected all over the world, but are not Muslims, like he is. But actually, and I think this is what, what really gets them, they're actually critical of the ideology that he follows, which he thinks is so great and nobody agrees with him. Plus, of course, the fact that this belief of his has not recently shown cracks in the foundation due to the admission of Islam scholars that not all is well with the core tenets of Islam. And finally, Imran is not capable intellectually to comprehend what an atheist is. So he tries to argue treating people you know, like me, like theists, but just without a God, of course, and that is about to, it must fail. It, it shows me once again that an atheist can understand and put themselves into the shoes of a theist, but not the other way around. And we see this here once again. So thank you for taking an interest in the video. And if you, if you think it's okay, then give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down by all means, but do me a favor, tell me why, so I can look at it and see what I did wrong and improve. Thank you. See you next time in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.